Recently someone was asking me, could they open a standard 9 volt battery and take out the internal cells inside and use them as an alternative to quadruple A cells? Because aside from double A cells and triple A cells, there is a very rare size called quadruple A and it's smaller than the, the triple A and it's, it's really very hard to get hold of. And I'm not really sure about that. I suppose there's only one way to find out. I have opened one 9 volt battery before, but it was a long time ago and it was a rechargeable one. And uh, whereas the standard alkaline type cells tend to have a stack of six 3x2 cells inside wired in series to make up the 9 volts, the rechargeable one that I opened actually had a series of flat oval button cells inside it, uh, forming a stack. So let's uh, nibble into this and see what we can find out. I'm not sure how this opens. I think it is an all plastic case. For some reason, I was thinking this was would be metal, but uh, of course... Things have changed. Oop. So that is a sticky label around the outside. That's not going to help much. Let's try prizing this off because it looks like it may be sealed from the top. Let's uh, have a look at the bottom as well. I would guess it'd be going in the top. It would make sense uh, with the contacts in the top here for the connections. So I shall just chew away at this. Until we get in. Well, that's quite promising. There's not a huge amount. I'm saying this, there's not a huge amount of energy stored in these. So uh, I don't think it's going to blow up when I, uh, if I have to short it out when I'm opening it. But there's only one way to find out. I should actually get in a wee bit closer, shouldn't I? So we can savour the moment. Let's uh, try and prise this open because I've got in at the side there. I'm wondering uh, if they'll have separate insulation per cell or, oh, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, right. So there are all the cells. Let's cut one out and measure it. They do look suspiciously like uh, quadruple A cells. And they've got tags, which makes them kind of useful, although they aren't rechargeable. So, let's measure this. The sizing of an actual quadruple A cell should be 42.5 millimetres long. I'm just trying to think, where have I put my... Oh, hold up. Measuring device here. And the diameter should be approximately 8.3 millimetres. So let's uh, test this out and see what we find. Let's turn this on. So we're looking for approximately 8.3 millimetres. It's about 8 millimetres, which isn't, you know, that's not too far off, is it? What about the length? And this is where I'm going to actually have to put a wee bit of tape over the end so I don't short it out. Let's just put a small piece of sellotape over the end. And we'll measure it. Lengthwise, and we're looking for, well, that's 40 millimetres, uh, which isn't that far short of the 42.5 millimetres. Well, it's, yeah, two and a half millimetres is a modest distance. Um, so the answer is that in some applications, if you're looking for uh, the quadruple A cells, it turns out that you may actually be able to get them from inside one of these plastic battery housings from Poundland. Uh, I wonder what the capacity is. Does it say the capacity? I doubt it's going to say the capacity. But typically the capacity of these is round about five to 600 milliamp hour um, capacity. And they are just standard alkaline cells. The fact they're sleeved is surprising. I suppose it just makes it easier for assembly. So yes, that's what's inside. Uh, one of Poundland's PP3 batteries, it might be a handy source of these little chained compact alkaline cells.